You gotta love the good old flea markets, man. Let's talk by recent VHS pickups. Terminator, calling Raven. Payback time. Come on! Come with me if you wanna live. You just don't turn it off! What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Backtrack Cinema. In today's video, we got some recent VHS pickups. I picked up in the last week or so. I picked. I went back to a, a flea market. Started going to the flea markets again found a huge VHS section, huge man. And it was awesome. Some of these are, are fairly decent. Some of them are in very rough shape. I've been road hard, put away wet, but we're going to talk about these anyway. So if you like these kind of videos, please subscribe, comment, share the video around, and let's talk some VHS tapes and any of these movies. So let's get started, man. So my first one, Walking Tall, the original Walking Tall. Now, it, this is uh, looking pretty beat up, to be honest with you. Um, I'll give you the back. Anything like that. It's um, I've never seen this movie. I've been asked to review it, though, so I thought I'd pick it up and see how that goes. Oh, next up. I got this on Blu-ray, but now I got it on VHS, and that's some action. Jackson. Carl Weathers, rest in peace, man. He's jacked. He's buff. Gets the girl. We get a young Sharon Stone in this movie, too. Um, this this is one-liners, cheesy 80s. Uh, definitely a product of its time, but why not, right? Uh, good old action Jackson. Next up, one I've been looking for is Missing in Action. Now, it's kind of faded, as you can see there. Um, I'll show you that. And inside, let's open the let's open this up. This is old. This is old video store tapes, right? Be kind, please rewind. Uh, and inside, this one doesn't look as bad so so far, but I'm seeing a bit of mold or like mildew in some of the tapes. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. But you know what? A good show piece, right? For two bucks, I'm not gonna. I could still put that on the wall. Um, I'll probably try and find uh, um, better copies of some of these. Next up, I got the first power. I have never seen this movie. This is a Lou Diamond Phillips movie. Gareth from Video Tasties recommends this one uh, a few times to me. So I, I don't know, man. What the perfect killer is the one who cannot be stopped. Be warned. Love the tagline. Good old Lou Diamond Phillips, a vicious serial killer. Is tracked down by Detective Russell Logan. 1990. 98 minutes suspense thriller. I'm going to give it a go there. I'm definitely going to give this one a go. Oh, next up, I had to grab this one up. The Real McCoy. I can remember renting this um, when I was younger. Kim Basinger, Val Kilmer. This is one of, one of her action movies. They said there wasn't a man on earth who could pull off a job like this. They were right. The Real McCoy. Man, Kim Basinger was hot as fuck back in the day, man. She's one of my favorite crushes. Kim Basinger, Michelle Pfeiffer, Sharon Stone, the three blonde bombshells. You know what I mean? And they can act. They weren't just pretty. You know what I mean? They could act. And yeah, this this is this is great, man. Kind of a, a thriller action burglar style movie. But yeah, I was excited to pick this one up and I can't. This is definitely going to be a VHS review I'll be doing on this one. Next up, another one I haven't seen yet. The French Connection. Now, this does not look it's this does not look like it's boated very well throughout the years, I must say. <laughs> but it's the French Connection, man. Come on. One of the most classic action movies of all time. So I had to pick this one up and I, I definitely got to see this one. We got some my boy Bronson, Charles Bronson and Telephone. And I have not seen this one. Lee Remick, Charles Bronson, Telephone. I know nothing about this movie. 1977, uh, running time hour and 42 minutes. Not not a not a bad run time. Uh, Donald Pleasance is in this. Don Siegel, directed by Don Siegel. The Cold War gets hot as master of action violence. Don Dirt, who did Dirty Harry, Siegel presents Telephone, a thriller of international intrigue. Sounds pretty interesting. The guy who did Dirty Harry did this. I'm definitely going to give some Telephone a go. Another Bronson one I picked up. My first Death Wish one on VHS. It's Death Wish 5. It's not the greatest Death Wish movie, but it's Death Wish. It's Bronson, Bronson and he's taking out the trash as usual. But I'm definitely looking for as much Chuck Norris and as much Charles Bronson as I can get my hands on. Added another Stallone one to the collection. Demolition Man. Um, Love this film. 
Wesley Snipes is badass in this. He plays off Stallone so well. Good um, sci-fi action movie with a lot of comedy. Sa introducing Sandra Bullock, basically. What got Sandra Bullock on the map? She's gorgeous as hell in it. She's funny as hell. You can't go wrong with Demolition Man. And there will be a VHS review coming up for this movie, guys. Ooh, this next one was actually a good find. And I did pay 10 bucks for this one just because of the shape it was in. And I didn't think I was going to find this. Ninja 3, The Domination. The Ninja series with Sho Kusugi. I mean, it's in pretty fine shape, guys. You, I, I, you know, I can't. I can't be too upset. I mean, it's not bad shape. I, I must have, you know what I mean? Any of those cult classics from the 80s, I'm definitely going to pick up um, for sure. So Ninja 3 is a good find. I got another Chuck Norris one. Uh, faded as well, but the Delta Force. But, you know, I had to pick this up. This has a great score in it. I mean, it, it's, it's fun. You know what I mean? I think the first half drags, but the second half is this badass, man. The Delta Force. Swift and silent assault is their trade. Total mastery of commando warfare is their skill. They are America's elite strike team. They are the Delta Force. Love it. This is Backtrack Cinema, man. We go back. We go back. Missing in action, too. Now, a lot of you may be surprised, but I think I prefer this one. It's more slow and everything, but I love the, the tension building in this. I think this is what Rambo 2 should have been. Going back before First Blood is seeing him in Vietnam and everything, but um, the missing action, that's not a, not a bad trilogy, man. Not a bad trilogy whatsoever, if you ask me. So there's some missing in action. Just, uh, I love it. That end fight is just badass, man. Just love it. One from my childhood I have not watched from my childhood, Mannequin. I want to give this a go again, man. Kim Cattrall. Sorry, guys, the light's kind of refracting on me there mannequin uh wow i just i haven't seen it in so long will it hold up will it be movie magic or simply tragic i do not know but mannequin starring andrew mccarthy kim cattrall when shy young jonathan sculpted his mannequin masterpiece he gave all her the attributes of the girl of his dreams but even jonathan's wildest dreams couldn't prepare him for what happens when his store window fantasy becomes a living breathing totally enchanting young lady Sounds fun. Sounds sweet. Like I, I hope I still like it. I don't want to come down on the movies that I loved as a kid. You know what I mean? But sometimes they just don't age well. So that won't be interesting. Oh, this one I had to get. This is one of my dad's favorites. This is one of my favorites. And that is Jeremiah Johnson, Robert Redford. Oh, look at that Rogers video on, on the bottom there. Um, this is a great uh, mountain man Western movie. If you like things like The Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio, go back and watch this movie, man. This is where it all starts, man. Robert Redford, Jeremiah Johnson. There you go. Them there, him with bear claws. Jeremiah Johnson made his way into the mountains. Just, oh, man, the music in this, it may feel very slow paced to a lot of you, but this is a guy who's on a discovery. Um. Starts out knowing nothing about the bush, nothing about the mountains, and he learns that he becomes a fucking legend. It's awesome. His 50 caliber hawk and gun. And that's the funny thing. He goes out to seek solitude, but out of all places, he finds a family. He finds he gets a son, he gets a wife, but shit goes downhill, and then he becomes a legend. You gotta watch Jeremiah Johnson, man. It's awesome. This is a funny one, guys. Romancing the Stone. This was one of my mun's favorites. And when I bought this. I was like, cool, and I was organizing my shelf, and this happened. A fucking tape fell out. Why? Check that out. That is an old beta tape, I believe, and a VHS cover. <laughs> I don't care. This could be worth something. I don't know. But uh, there you go, Romancing the Stone. And I've seen Get Carter with Sylvester Stallone, but I've never seen the original. So I thought I'd pick up. The original Get Carter with Michael Caine and one of Michael Caine's best performances. Um, Jack Carter. Yeah. So I definitely want to give some Get Carter a go for sure. Um, maybe do a double review one day. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But I picked this one up. And that is it, guys. That's all my recent VHS pickups. What do you guys think of these VHS pickups? I know some of, some of them are pretty worn, but I haven't watched them yet. 
I'm going to watch them to see how they do. And uh, hopefully most of them work. And if they don't, I know I, I'll just keep on hunting, right? That's what we do. We keep on hunting them down. And this is something about going to the flea market, you know, browsing what they have. It's the old days, going back to the home video store. You know what I mean? So definitely comment down below what you think of these tapes. What do you think of the video? All that stuff. Those are my recent pickups, basically from last month. So I'm going to try and do one of these once a month, maybe a couple. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's will do it for me, guys. So my name is Jason. You've been watching Backtrack Cinema. Click that video right there that you see right there and uh, go down the rabbit hole and all that jazz. And I will see you next time and I'll see you in the movies. Cheers.